there are some corporatists out there who are looking for a judge who is going to be maybe fulfill sort of some of the requirements that Joe Biden has, but will continue to protect corporate interests. I give you Representative Jim Clyburn pushing a um, an anti-labor judge. J. Uh, J. Michelle Childs is her name. I just know Michelle, and she has a kind of background that will offer some diversity to this court. Today, over 50, in the last 50 years, there's never been a person to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States that's a graduate of a public school, undergraduate or law school. What's this notion that if you don't go to a public school uh, that you are not qualified? Here's a person with four degrees, uh, all from Southern schools. Her, her zip code disqualifies her. I really believe uh, that we have to get beyond this notion of elitism. And a lot of people who graduate from public schools, including the current president of the United States of America, who ought to be considered, uh, considered for high office. Uh, and so I just think that this thing has built up and it's bothering a lot of people, including the old children. That's really cynical because, oh my God. I mean, I am in full agreement that the, like, orthodoxy with which uh, our government officials treat someone who comes out of Yale Law School or someone who comes out of Harvard Law School or Columbia. I mean, it's ridiculous. And there's elitism in that in, in and of itself. But he's hiding the ball here and cloaking it on purpose in this because yeah. this J. Michelle Childs, the federal judge Jim Clyburn is urging Biden to name to the Supreme Court, worked for years as an anti-union at an anti-union law firm that boasted it helped companies remain union free. Childs often defended employers sued in racial discrimination cases. The prospect article on this said that 23 out of the 25 cases she was on with this law firm was not on the side of the people accusing discrimination uh, the the companies of discrimination she was representing the corporations in that in those instances. I mean, it, 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 she's as anti-union in terms of her background as it can get um an anti-worker just in general well yeah i mean that's the one requirement except maybe a few um uh, exceptions for supreme court justices uh, whatever they are make sure they're down to coerce workers uh, using the full force of law and i hate to be like a jordan peterson let's get some viewpoint diversity and not only look to certain kinds of diversity but it would be nice to, if uh, that was the thing we started with is this person is a pro worker and then we can get like a black woman on who's pro worker not somebody who has a pedigree of union busting and it's you can disgusting find that and you can find that and, I mean, and sorry to cut you off but like no. The problem with with Clyburn saying like this this public school thing like that the reason people like that stuff is it's a proxy for these class politics. Mm -hmm. It's like right. Clyburn saying basically like oh we can get a black woman from a non Ivy League education that's willing to uh, crush unions as well. The, I mean the point exactly and, and this point is really important that when we talk about identity and diversity being important in terms of identity it is a proxy because pres it presumably means that the likelihood of them being pro let's say union or worker or have a a a, a diversity of experience that might lend them to appreciate that they need to fight on behalf of 99 percent of the people that's the point the idea that you can go to a public school and then become essentially a, a crony to suppress workers' rights, unions, and you name it. Um, I don't know, so be, uh, fight against environmental protections. I mean, we can go on and on. Be a, uh, in, in favor of monopolization. I mean, on and on and on. The value of a signifier of going to public schools is that ostensibly they have not been bathed <laughs> in the ideology of the elite. It doesn't, but it's not a, you know, it's not definitive. No, it's not a virtue in and of itself. It is what is created by those experiences. Presumably. Presumably. Right. And of course, someone like Clyburn and Lindsey Graham, by the way, and Tim <laughs> Scott, who all like her and are all pushing her 
That should tell you everything. They are using uh, the fact that she went to a public school in order to push the exact opposite of what that's supposed to engender. If there is a single moment where a single synapse fires within any individual in the Biden administration, that it is going to behoove them to have bipartisan support for this nominee, they are clinically insane. And I'm not a doctor, and so I don't, you know, I rarely go out on a limb like that, but they're out of their minds. All right, in just a moment, we will uh, have David Day and the executive editor of that same um, uh, magazine that wrote that piece about um, exposed... Um, Exposed. Exposed Clyburn's uh, uh, push for a for a union busting lawyer.